class, today's topic is lettering. We are going to carry out a practical demonstration on lettering. What is lettering? Lettering is the art of constructing letters. We need some tools to carry out these practicals. Tools like pencil, cutter, pair of brushes, eraser, poster colors, a rule of any type or size, to carry out this lettering. Now, let's start with the first letter. We are going to work on two words. The red bull. Now, the first word I'm going to construct is red. And I'm going to, I'm going to start with R. One, two, three. The letter arrow normally take three scale. That we just constructed is arrow. So before I can continue with the next letter, I need to give a gap, which is this space. Then the next alphabet will start from the dx, which is one, two, three. And don't forget is letter E. So start like this. Then I'm done with letter E. So the next word, is, the next letter is D. I need to give another gap. Now I need three scales. One, two, three. Then a curve line from this angle. Another curve line from here. Then a straight line here. You join together from the bottom and from the top. Then a straight line to link the curve line together from this angle and from this angle. Then the, another curve from here, another curve from here. Then you link them up. Then join them together from this side, from this side. Then your the, the, the letter D is completed. So we already have this word red. For us to create the next word, which is boo, I need to create at least give two gap like this, or I can even make it three. So there's a reasonable gap between the first word and the next word. Here's my, my straight line. Then I'm going to construct alphabet B and it, and it will take three scale. One, two, three. A curve line here, another curve line from this angle then or break it from this middle here or break it again from here then link up the lines then you come to this side another curve line from this and go another curve line for this you can see that my B is almost ready then I need to link it up
then you link all the broken lines together and you can see my B is almost ready and don't forget that this K is not among the design they are just guidelines so you can get accuracy so you can be able to create or construct your ways with the same length or size then don't forget there's always a gap between two alphabets so i'm leaving this k blank and i'm going to the next k and i will need another three k to construct this alphabet a straight line a straight line from this side then curve curve lines then link the lines up then a curve line from here then you can see that my U is almost ready then I'm, I'm moving to the next alphabet and I'll need 3k most of the alphabet takes 3k and we have some other alphabet that are exceptional they take like four or five scales but we are not using those alphabet right now and this is L Then another gap one two three up this is the last word uh, this is the last alphabet sorry As you can see, Red Bull, and that is the two words we are working in. So, after doing this, the next step is to, I told you before, the scale are not among the design, they are just guidelines. So you start to erase the scale, to have this before you can start applying your poster colors. you can see and it's not just the scale that you have inside the alphabet or word that you erase both the one surrounding it you, you can as well erase they are not among the designs you do this before you start applying your colors or paint Okay, after erasing, the next step is to is for you to start applying colors on this alphabet. For this exercise, you need a pointed brush. You 
colors are too thick. So when the colors are too thick like this, the next thing you need to do is to I just added water to the colors and you can see right now is fluid. So all you need to do is for you to paint the two weights like this and that is it. Um, hope to see you in class and do make sure you answer our quizzes.